When I retire, I, I'm going to be a right bastard. I am. I'm, 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 oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I, want, I want visiting me to be a chore, not a pleasure. <laughs> I, want, I want people to come around. I'm going to make sure my house smells funny. I, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm going to find out how they do that, and I'm going to do it as well. I am. <laughs> I just suddenly decided that I liked the phrase, so what? And um, it, it, it felt like a very uh, wrong thing to say and uh, confrontational and un unhelpful. And uh, it, it made me chuckle. And, it, and it, it just, from that attitude, a lot of the material in the show emerged. And it's happened to me before that, and I get a single little idea and it all grows from that one thought. I had one, one uh, previous show I did. Um, I couldn't get any ideas for what I wanted to write about. And um, in, in the I, was ended, I was looking around a shop and there was um, like a, a, a rucksack type thing for sale. It was on, you know, for sale, a bag, with lots of pockets and zips all over it. And there was a, 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 a thing hanging off it saying, with a, a, a sign saying, this bag could be your new best friend. And, um, and from that point onwards, I was, I, you know, I just wrote and wrote and wrote and that, was, that became it. it. Although that story itself didn't, didn't stay in the show. Look at Jesus, Jesus, right? <laughs> well, we know about him in the Bible as a baby. We know all about that, don't we know about that? And we know about Jesus as an adult in the Bible. There's a whole bit missing in the middle, isn't there? A whole bit missing. There's no Book of Acne, is there? <laughs> and I think there's a reason for this. I think that they left him alone, get on with it, and uh, he's probably a regular teenager. Probably, probably very popular. Think about it, Jesus. Yeah, very popular. Get asked to all the parties. You have, yeah, have a party, you have Jesus over. All we need is a couple of bottles of water in your way. <laughs> you know, I enjoy doing telly, but it, it, you know, in the end, you have to think, uh, you know, stand-up is what I first loved doing, you know, and I, and I, st and I still do, and I, and I realised that I did miss it really quite a lot. I actually found a, ended up on doing a little tour of, of interviews, live interviews with an audience when I brought my book out, and that reminded me of the fun it was to have an audience and how immediate the response is from an audience and how fun it is to make the audience laugh. And, uh, and then I did a tour with, um, I'm sorry, having a clue, which is the radio show that I do, um, and, and that was also, just put me in front of a live audience again and, you know, just to just reawaken that thought. And I, 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 I just, uh, I thought, right, I've got to keep, I've got to go back to this, my natural, my natural environment, really. I heard that, you know what, this generation of teenagers are going to be the first in living memory to be poorer than their parents. And uh, I don't know about you, I, I, I find that hugely comforting. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been everywhere with it. I mean, part the very early days, I was I was travelling around doing little small market towns that have got a, a little theatre, sometimes only a hundred and thirty seater, and uh, and it's all very all very sweet actually. And I mean, people are really pleased to see you, and they look after you nicely, and you stay in a little local bed and breakfast, and uh, and went all around Wales, and uh, went to Ireland, and, and played some gigs over there. Uh, and there are a lot of little tiny towns that you don't think of really, but they, they all have somewhere you can play and an audience wanting to come and see it. So that was good. And then by the time there's, you know, I was going all the way, way around Britain, all the way around Ireland, um, Australia and New Zealand. And uh, it's, so that's, that, you know, that's, it's been a good, a, good, a good long stretch of a tour. I was up in Yorkshire. Uh, not so long ago, and I got a, a local paper, I always get the local paper where I go, I was reading a story there, and um, it just caught my eye. What this was, this story, this guy uh, was in court, he was being prosecuted um, for having sex with a donkey. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, everywhere else I said that gets a huge laugh, so I don't know what's... <laughs> There's some one or two places where you think it'd be unfair to name them really because I've always, I've always thought, especially if I have a bad gig somewhere, which hasn't really touched wood happened on this tour, but I've, in the past I've always thought, oh, I'm never going to go back there. And, but this time I made myself go back to some of the places I don't like playing and, and had a great time. So it always goes to show, you know, it's often it's down to me, you know, I think it's down to, you know, you should never blame your audience. It really is, it's, it's you, you're in control. If you haven't quite made it work, then don't blame the audience, just, just give them another chance. A little weird moment that was. Uh... <laughs>
I was like, yeah, I had sex with a donkey. There was a, like a, it was like a collective, so what? 